In your talk, you talked about the European Extremely Large Telescope, yep. which I found um, fascinating, really Extremely exciting. Extremely fascinating, yes. W one of the things you mentioned was that it would be as big an, a, as big an advance as um, Galileo looking through his telescope for the first time. Can you quantify that a little bit and just give some examples of... of yeah, I mean, the, the biggest telescopes we have are have diameters of 8 or 10 meters, but Europe has the 8-meter telescopes. They have um, a surface of about 50 square meters of glass. The EELT will have a diameter of 42 meters, so it's five times as large in diameter, but it's 25 times the, the area, and therefore it will be 25 times more sensitive and it will also be able to see much sharper. Right, and, and what kind of new discoveries will you be able to make with it? Um, I think we will make a huge push in the field of exoplanets. You heard a talk by Michel Mayor this morning um, that you really need very high accuracy radial velocities to, uh, to see Earth around other suns, and that will be possible with this machine. Um, it will also allow discoveries in the deep universe that we cannot even imagine today. Mm -hmm. Will um, it be producing images like the VLT does? Even sharper. Even sharper. Yeah. Um, and what will happen to the VLT once the ELT is built? Um, the VLT, we are continuing to upgrade it with new instruments, taking advantage of new technologies. Uh, the interferometer that we have as part of the VLT, or the VLT is part of the interferometer, um, that of course will remain unique because that can simulate or mimic a telescope with a diameter of over 130 meters uh, size. Not the sensitivity, like mm -hmm. the ELT, but uh, the sharpness of vision. Um, and there will be special programs where it's really useful to have a lot of time on an 8 meter telescope. If you think about the HARPS program for exoplanets that is currently going on, that is happening on the 3.6 meter. And it would be quite normal um, to uh, dedicate one of the eight meters to a, a long-term project like this and find many more planets. Excellent. And um, for you, um, what's the most exciting part of your job as Director General? I think the most exciting part, I'm quite excited by this job, uh, the most excited, exciting part is to be able to, uh, to shape the future of the field and mm -hmm. make uh, collaborations within the countries that will enable new telescopes to be built and new discoveries to be made. Right, so it, it's about building a legacy then for the future? Uh, yeah, not, not a personal legacy, but it is contributing sure. to a, a European-wide program. And, and I should add also that being in Chile, where 40% of our staff is, and we go there regularly, it's just such a beautiful country, I just enjoy going there. So I showed you some images mm -hmm. earlier today, and you can probably show in, the, in your journal some of these uh, images.